Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul Kiva Labs. In today's tutorial, we will be learning how to navigate in Quality Test Management tool. So Quality is a new tool and it offers a powerful interactive dashboard with complete updates on all the ongoing projects. So it has uh, different features of project management, test management, defect management, reports and different settings. So let us see, uh, let us navigate uh, to the tool and let's see what all it has uh, for uh, the testing people. We will go to the URL. So this is our URL, uh, rahulkivalabs.quality.com and this is my dashboard. So this is how the dashboard looks like. On the left panel, you can see the logo of quality and this is the Rahul Kiva Labs. This is my name mentioned here we have the dashboard project management test management test lab defect management task management reports and settings apart from that it also offers uh, like uh, the sdk for your systems and apis to interact with different other uh, applications and guided tour means uh, uh, you it will show you what is the meaning of each of the uh, the links or the options and this is the user guide and this is the logout button so uh, let us see one by one uh, what all options uh, are there so as you all can see here this is the demo project that is the name of the project uh, shown you here as demo project and this is the summary what is the name of the project uh, how many uh, total defects are there fixed defects and open defects okay so see nine defects nine here so how many test cases are there you can see we have the 14 test cases out here and 11 test scenarios if you I'll scroll a little bit down you will see different graphs of the defects by severity what is the statistics of the bugs uh, how many test cases are executed, how many cycles are there, and test case status, cycles, defect by status, what are the uh, tasks that are done and uh, like done by the people and who all are the members of this project currently and what all activities have been performed. Okay, so uh, the tool seems to be uh, quite user friendly and uh, uh, nice reports you all can see here now uh, coming from top right there's a button called uh, quick action so if you hover over it it will show you all the options uh, you can perform like uh, creation of a new project uh, how to create a new build out here if you want to create a new module test scenario test cases a new defect or a new user so you can go here on the quick actions and you can directly click on any of the uh, buttons as per your suitability and you can perform the tasks now coming on the left hand side if we click here rahul qa labs so this is everything about me means about my profile so this is my name email id you can change the password if you want out here my role is as the administrator and this is my domain name and if I want to do any changes, I can change it out here. And as soon as I click on update, it will be updated here. Now coming to next, uh, that is the billing. So as of now, I have taken the trial version. So it is showing the current plan details I have. The plan is pro and one active user as of now, the user limit is 50 and uh, zero US dollars. So it's not charging me as of now. And my trial is going to expire on 25th. So this is my plan details billing and this is my payment history which is nil actually because I have not taken any plans. Now say for example if you want to uh, upgrade or uh, if you, are, you have an enterprise and you want to uh, like uh, use it as an enterprise tool so you can always click on this button red button that is upgrade plan and see it will show you what all plans are available. So if you click here it is showing you pro plan number of users you can list it out here and the amount it is charging is seven dollars monthly okay 
and this is the billing cycle so you want it deducted monthly or yearly so accordingly uh, the price will change yearly it will be 75.6 dollars okay so if you want to upgrade it and use it you can use it but you have to pay 75.6 dollars yearly okay so this is about uh, the user profile now going to dashboard so this we have already seen out here coming to project management so project management as the name itself says is used for the maintenance of the projects creation of the projects building of the teams so the very first tab you can see here as the project so what all projects are available here you will be able to see all the details about that project here if you go to team so this is the team whatever team you have if you want to create a team you want to create a user you want to save team you can do it here say for example I click on save team so users list successfully updated in project you will get a message and your team is successfully saved coming to next we have the builds as of now we have three uh, builds available out here if you want you can create a new build you have to get suppose build 3.0 I have given here what is the start date and what is the end date of the bill and some description now after giving the build you just have to click on save and yes so next build is added in the list out here this is the test build I have added with all the details this is how you can add a build coming to next we have the modules so what all modules are present in your project you can see it out here test management test lab sign up reporting and registrations uh, login and defect management if you want you can add a new module as well to your project and these are the requirements so every project has some of the other requirements and as of now we don't have any data out here so you can create a new requirement and you can link these requirements to your test cases and test scenarios so that when you take the report uh, you can easily uh, make out uh, what all requirements are left out and what all requirements need to be covered by the test cases okay uh, you have to fill like some uh, minimum fields are there so requirement title requirement type functional or UI and you are done so if you have any file or have any BSD or FSDs you can attach it out here and you can select the test cases test scenarios whichever that are already present it will be shown here after filling all these details you can just click on save and your requirement is created so this is about uh, the project management tab in brief uh, coming to next one we have the test management now test management uh, deals about the test scenarios and test cases so test scenarios are the broader term of uh, your testing uh, which deals uh, with what all modules uh, are there that should be tested and if I come to test cases so test cases are the more uh, a deeper part of a test scenario so a scenario can have 10 test cases or it can have more than 20 or 100 also so that depends on the test scenarios and these are the test scenarios you all can see out here with all the options available so this is about test management coming to next option test lab now test lab uh, is about the cycles so how many cycles you want to uh, execute for uh, say for example current sprint you want to execute two cycles so cycle one and cycle two are defined here what is the start date what is the summary all the details are present out here you can create a new cycle or you can see all the details out here coming to next tab uh, we have the manage test cycle so if you see here uh, this is the project repository that is being shown here and this is the cycle repository so in this project in test cycle 2 if you see these are all the test scenarios that are available and that needs to be executed so that is the task of test cycle 2 similarly you can see here builds build 1 and build 2 so build 1 is related to test cycle 1 and build 2 is ready to test cycle 3 now suppose I expand this test cycle so you will see all the scenarios that needs to be executed in this test cycle for this particular build okay 
uh, yeah coming to next one we have test case execution so these are all the test cases that are present and you can execute them so this is all the statuses available here passed failed and not run so after executing the test case you can apply it as per the convenience okay now coming to next tab we have the defect management tab defect management name itself says that you have to raise the defects uh, the faults available in your project and all the defects will be listed out here corresponding to the builds whichever you have linked here so if you can uh, just scroll it down and see here so all the builds are listed out here and all you know the defects or uh, the test cases related to the defects are listed out here with all the details you can do a import you can do a download and a lot of options available out here coming to next one we have the task management task management uh, tells you like on what all uh, dates the tasks are scheduled so this is the calendar view you can see uh, next one is the board view okay so what all open tasks are there test scenario task creations and ongoing tasks and the completed task so you have to define tasks out here and it will be listed in the task management and this is the task details so test execution for cases designed for build 2.0 this is the task name this is the assignee to whom it is assigned what is the status still in progress or completed and this is the due date so before that date you have to finish all these tasks assigned so whosoever is responsible for the task he or she has to complete this task on the given due date okay so this is about task management tab coming to reporting reporting is an integral part in testing and it helps you analyze the progress of the project so here you can see uh, the several options present there are uh, three kinds of report you can generate one is bug report next one we have the test cases report and the third one we have the test execution report so if i take the example of test case report all the modules are listed whichever build you want to take whichever modules all the filter criteria and as soon as you click on generate report so see uh, it has generated the report you want to download that report you can download in any of the formats excel csv or doc if i select as xlsx so preparing a file and it will be available for download i'll click on download so this is the report for all the test cases that i have selected test case report so let's see what all things are present out here okay so all the test cases that we have selected out there all the details about the test case names are present here similarly you can reports uh, test execution report as well along with all the filters like whatever columns you want in your report you can select it say for example test execution i want the execution type all these steps and the preconditions and the priority i click on that i'll generate the report and the format so it's preparing the file let's download the file and let's see what is there in the report okay yeah so this is your report see all the details uh, priority summaries priority execution type what is the precondition so reports helps you to organize your projects better and you can share this report as well with all the teammates with all the stakeholders of the project okay so this is the reporting tab now settings tab has many options like what are the roles present in a project roles can be like a project manager or a project lead or developer uh, test lead uh, associate testers etc you can create a new role out here by clicking on this button create new role you have to give the name the description and click on save this is how you can create a role Coming to next tab, we have the users. Users are nothing but have access to the project. Have access to the project, and as of now, I have only uh, one user out here. I can add a user as well by clicking on New User. Okay, so you can give the name, you can give the role. Role means uh, whether he's a test manager, he's admin, he's a tester. 
and you can give the project name as well whichever project uh, role you want to give and click on create that user will be created suppose i give as demo rahul q labs 1 labs 1 email username 1 select role i have given as a developer and project as demo now i clicked on create user <coughs> okay so we got some error ah i need to change the email address uh okay i'll change the address to some other address as this and now let's try to create yes so we got a success and uh, we have created the user successfully and it is as of now inactive okay so if i select this user and i click on action send activation email so while creating this user must have email to an email so from that email as soon as you click on active activate the link so this user will become active okay so this is how we can create uh, users in quality coming to next one we have the email notifications so email notifications let's click on this yeah so whenever uh, some changes these to these so this particular person so this particular person will receive an email on this email id okay coming to next one we have integrations integrations means uh, uh, like uh, connecting one or more tools with quality if i click on create integration so these are the options available selenium jira gitlab redmine and asana so with any of these tools you can create and integrate these tools with quality which is a very good option given by this tool next we have the authentication so that is also no data why because we have not created any integration if i have to create any integration i have to select the product so that product is Azure and Azure ID, login URL, all these details you have to give. Okay, so this is about authentication and last two options we have the custom fields and drop down values. Custom fields means you can create your own fields uh, for a particular project and you can link those fields with your project so that if you want to search anything, you can search those fields, you can type those fields and you will get the options uh, given by the tool. And last one is the drop down values so drop down values are nothing but uh, say for example uh, you want you have created a new field like status and you want to give the LOVs to that status so you can click here and create those values as well okay so so these are the main tabs uh, we covered in uh, the quality test management tool so this is how uh, we can navigate and we can uh, explore the different options okay coming back to dashboard so the tool looks good right and uh, it is good tool and try to explore more and if you have any questions do let me know I hope uh, I am able to give you a small brief on the navigation of quality test management tool and keep learning in life if you like my channel do subscribe my channel thank you bye bye